Hello, I look so forward to being able to give these words of encouragement for your, your daily edification. And we're going to be spending the next few days just looking at the book of James. And if you read in James chapter 1, starting to read in verse 2, it says this, Consider it all joy, my brethren, when you encounter various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces endurance. And let endurance have its perfect result, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. Isn't that interesting? How we are to respond as believers to various trials, and sometimes they come from every angle. It's just part of the seasons of life. In this passage, it says, just count it all joy, or esteem this opportunity to be joyful. That's what it means. Lift up joy. Well, isn't that the exact opposite of our natural response to trials and troubles. I, I want to complain. I want to get down. There are so many ways that I want to respond that are really the means of the flesh and of my emotions. But God says, determine that when it gets tough, I'm going to be joyful. And if you decide to be joyful, the Bible says it produces something in you that is part of your maturing process. Sometimes I look at my life and I ask myself the question, am I maturing? Well, this is a wonderful passage. It just lets us know one of the ways to prove our, our maturity in Christ is to be patient and enduring. In other words, we're not up and down. We learn to face every day and every trial and being mild and consistent and gentle throughout the process because those words are all shades of the meaning of all of that. When it says there, the testing of your faith produces endurance and let endurance have its perfect result that you may be perfect and, and complete. When you and I learn to be consistent and not up and down, when we're not an emotional roller coaster, when we don't send our marriage and our family and our home and our job into turmoil anytime there's a little bit of trouble, we have truly grown in Christ's likeness. I love this passage right here because we realize that joy is one of the fruits of the Holy Spirit. It is that means by which every day we're just saying, I want to show the Holy Spirit in my life. Love, joy, peace, patience, and so on. So today, if you're going through a really difficult time, here's my prayer for you. I'm praying for you today that great joy of the Holy Spirit, knowing and understanding that God is Lord over your trials, there's no trial that comes to you that has not gotten past the allowance of God. Be joyful in the Lord today. Be consistent. Be steady. Be enduring. And the Bible says you will end up being perfect and complete and lacking nothing in the victory that God has for you in the middle of this trial. God bless you in all of that.